Hi everyone, welcome back to another video brought to you by Binary Lunar. I'm Ramiz al and I'll be showing you today how to do this blink tint effect which can be used for something like when the player gets hits or gets healing. I extended that for more fun by syncing the blinks with music. <laughs> So let's get started. I just created new 2D project. Then I went to the package manager and installed universal rendering pipelines. After that, you just need to create new rendering pipelines and assign that as a default for the graphics and the quality in the project settings. Then I brought a character which I created previously by copying the idea from the telegram sticker it's called cherry create a new shader 2d renderer sprite on lit graph before we start building the shader let's go to the 2d renderer and enable the hdr because we will be using hdr colors to show a glow a glowy blink of the tint this is the simplest shader graph we ever created this effect has been done by other creators but using many nodes more than 10 nodes i will show, show you how to do it with only two nodes so let's just create texture property which is the main texture of our sprite name it main texture and set the reference underscore main text then add sample texture to the node and link the main texture to it we also need a color property to control the tint color Set the type to HDR and set the reference underscore tint color. We will be using that for coding later, so make sure that you write this correctly when we start coding because capitals are sensitive here. Let's set the default color to something like bright red. We also need a uh, property to control the amount of tint let's name it tint and amount and set the reference to underscore tint amount set the default value to one and make it as a slider between zero and one now simply we need only a blend node to blend our texture with the tint color and using the amount of tint we want so link the texture and the color the amount of tint we want then link all of those to the color at the master node that's all so let's save and check what happened first we need to create a material to use that shader so create a new material name it tint material and then drag the shader on the material then drag the material to our sprite on the scene as you can see we can now control the color and the tint amount we want We'll be using that to make a blink using a code. So let's create a new script called Tint Controller. In this script, we need a reference to the tint amount and a reference for the tint material. And simply in the update function, we do a lerp from the tint amount, which will be one to the zero using time dot delta time and to clamp these values between 0 and 1 we use the mass f dot clamp to clamp the tint amount between 0 and 1 we don't want any value higher than 1 nor lower than 0 then we assign the tint amount to the tint in our shader using the material by accessing the material and using the set float and writing the parameter name correctly now as you can see if we set the tint amount to one manually it will start lerping towards zero doing this nice blink lerping but we want to do this using code so let's add two new functions we will need one for healing and one for damage effect each effect has a different color so we need two public colors one for the healing and one for the damage and to, to be able to set the 
color as HDR color, we need to add an attribute called color usage attribute and we enable the alpha and the HDR in both of them. Then let's create a public function called damage. In that function, we set the color to the damage color and we set the tint amount to one. We do the same function for healing. We change the name to healing and we change the damage color to healing color. Then in the update function, we call each one of those by pressing a button. So let's assign the jump button to call the damage function and assign the fire one button which represents by the left control or the left mouse button to call the healing function save the script and now set the healing color to green and the damage color to red and as you can see now when we hit space we get the damage color we hit, when we hit the left control we get the healing color but it fades so slow so we can increase the tint color blink speed by creating a new public float name it uh, tint speed or blink speed then you can multiply that blink speed with time dot delta time set the default value to 5 and think that's good and to get the glow effect we need just to go to the camera enable post processing and add volume script to the camera create a new profile and override the bloom make sure to set the intensity for the colors higher than zero of course so here you go you got nice glowy blink effects that can be used for the damage or healing effects in your game to make this more fun i thought why not syncing this with the music so i researched a bit and i found unity beat synchronizer uh, github i downloaded that and experiment a bit i provide the link in the description and after experimenting some i created a new scene in that scene i used three sprites of speakers each speaker used the same shader we created and i assigned different colors for each one one red one green one blue and then I link the beat detection with each one so it blinks on different types of beats one on downbeat, one on upbeat, one on offbeat and one uh, counting the pattern of beats so I reached this result <laughs> And that's all for this today's videos. Thank you all for watching and we appreciate the continuous support of our Patreons Benjamin Benji and Mohamed Aydin. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified about the next videos. Till next time, see you soon.